Hi everyone, it's Dolly over at the Paper Plumeria. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Happy Thrifty Thursday, everyone. Today I am back with my Thrifty Thursday finds. And if you don't know what Thrifty Thursday is, it is an open collaboration that is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. I'm going to go ahead and list her channel below or I'm going to link her channel below so that you guys can check her out and she usually does list all of the participants in Thrifty Thursdays so if you're interested in seeing what others ha have or um, have found thrifting you can check that out and if you'd like to share your thrifty finds uh, feel free to reach out to Sherry and let her know because I'm sure she would be more than happy to include you in that list of thrifty Thursday um, uploads. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first few pieces that I find are similar to what I seem to have been picking up a lot, which I keep telling myself, stop, but they're just too good of a deal to pass up. So seam binding, I have lots of seam binding, but you know, I, I can never have too many of the pink. And this is, um, it's hem tape is what it is, but I love the colors of these. They're in the pastel pinks. And then I also found these lace seam binding trims. And this one is in a taupe and this one's in a beige, but I had to pick those up because each of these were only 50 cents. I also found these beautiful doilies and I love the, the style or the shape of this one, which was only 95 cents. And I feel like there's so many uses for these. I like wrapping things up in these um, where if you made like a, um, a snippet roll, you could wrap them up in this and tie it to make a cute little pocket. I think I've shown you guys that in the past, but I think they make great little pouches. And then I got two of these. These were $1.50 each and uh, the shape of these are really pretty. They almost look like a leaf of some kind but I really like that and this is the same same thing so again I think these were $1.50 I also have a few more pieces of trim and these are the rolled trims I know that these are not anything so exciting and I do have quite a bit of trim from Hobby Lobby very similar to these but I did pick this up because this one was only a quarter and um, I wanted to get this because I don't know if you can tell on camera if the shimmer of this lace can be seen, but it's got an iridescent heart design to it, and it's just so pretty. Um, again, I don't know if you could see the shimmer, but in person it's so beautiful, and for a quarter, I could not pass that up. And this was 50 cents. It's just your very thin beige uh, trim and I like to get this ribbon because it's thin enough that it could go through many holes on tags and I like to use these thinner ones for tags. This one right here is a pretty lace trim in beige and again this was only 50 cents and it looks like it's still got plenty in this roll so for 50 cents I had to grab that. All right so moving along I also got which I was pretty excited about this really cute Rolodex case with Rolodex cards in it. And you guys, it was in such great shape. It was nothing that I really needed, but when I saw it, I had to grab it because it is an original Rolodex. And if you don't know what Rolodex is, you're probably a little bit younger, but back in the day when um, we didn't really have computers and you needed somewhere to reference your phone numbers, you use these little cards. And this is more of a mini Rolodex. Uh, the originals were larger than these cards. And so this is where we would store all of our phone numbers and names and whatnot. And this little Rolodex came with all of the cards and some additional index cards that already have the phone numbers for airlines, AT&T, car rentals, um, emergency hotlines, things like that. And I figure I can use these cards in maybe junk journals and if I wanted to use this case I could create mini MD cards and use this box to store the mini memory decks cards in. 
um, you guys, I think this was only a dollar. And it was written with red, like a pen, uh, erasable pen, like they do, do usually do at the thrift shop. But I wanted to clean it because it was a little dirty when I first bought it. So I went ahead and cleaned it. I took all the writing, the pen writing off that stated, that showed it was a dollar. But um, I thought it, it was a really great deal to find something this old in this great of a condition. So um, I'm really excited about that. So the next few pieces I found were these fabric pieces. And um, these fabric pieces, I believe, were only, this was $1.95 and this was $2.95. So this is two and a half yards and this one was only one and a half yards. And that's the reason for the difference in the price so this has bees and butterflies on it and i just think it's so pretty i love the color i think it would make a great cover for a journal this right here this paisley print i love the blues and the pink combination so had to grab that for uh 2.95 um to get two and a half yards isn't too bad at all and this one feels like it's 100% cotton. I believe this might have a cotton mix. It's a little softer, but this definitely, I, I feel like it's 100% cotton. So um, that, and then let me see what else I got here. All my things keep running away from me. Okay, so I also found this cute little bell and I thought this was so adorable. This was only $1.50 and I haven't cleaned this yet. It looks like there's some dirt inside, but um, it's not labeled on the inside. But recently I found some uh, cute little porcelain bells. Well, not porcelain, fine bone china bells. And if you guys go back to my um, previous haul, you will see um, that those were made in England. I don't think this was made in England, but I thought this would be a cute addition to that collection now that I have those two bells. And I saw this and I was thinking, yeah, that would be great to add this to the collection of bells. So I think it's really pretty. Um, again, there's no writing on it, but it does look like it's made of porcelain. I, I love the print. It reminds me of one of the teacups that I have. I think I may have a teacup with this same design. So I thought that was really cute. All right, so then um, I also found this here and i don't exactly know what this is it was a dollar but i loved the fabric that was included inside here and it says on here stitch in time quilt shop and it says block of the month and they are star blocks and it says traditional star blocks so um it looks like some kind of quilting fabric and they give you some pieces but I just thought that these uh, designs were really pretty or these prints were really pretty. And I guess I should open it. So let's go ahead and open this. Okay, move that over here. All right, so that you guys can see the fabric without the glare. So it's really pretty. Here's the first one, and here's the other. Yeah, they just look like block, um, square pieces, um, not very big, but I mean, I think these might work well if you were making a small journal and you needed to cover the outside of one. So that's what you get. And this was a dollar, so that's the reason why I picked it up. I thought no harm in a dollar, even if I can't use it. All right, so then I also found two books, and let me show you the first book. The first book I found was this right here, and it is called um, Being, it says, Mr. Godey's Ladies, Being a Mosaic of Fashion and Fancies, and this was $1.50, and it's a fabric cover. Um, it looks like it's vintage. Let's see if there's a year on here. Look how pretty. So, okay, all rights reserved. Oh, a year. I'm surprised there's no year on this. There's no copyright date. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a copyright date on here, so who knows? I mean, this looks pretty new, so it may not be vintage, but let me flip through. Oh, wait, let me see here. Yeah, this is already the start of the book. So, yeah, let me flip through. I know there were some illustrations in here that were really, really cute that looked vintage. So, kind of get an idea of the illustrations. So, it's women's fashions from the 1800s. And I thought that was really cute. And there's even some colored illustrations in here. I think these would be really fun or cute to go in a vintage journal. Yeah, there's actually quite a few colored illustrations in here. And look how cute this is. It's got all of the ladies fashions, suspenders, umbrellas, even the hair, hair pieces. Wow. Look at that. Really, really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to want to take this apart. Love to read this. So I'll probably read this first. All right. So then I have one more book and <coughs> I already own this book. But it was only a dollar, and I do like the pictures in this. I already have one of these, um, like I said. So, um, I don't know, maybe um, I can include this in Happy Mail or something. I will see, because again, I don't even think I've used the one that I have. But for a dollar, it was too good of a deal to pass up. And there's really some cute illustrations in here. Okay. Put this here all right so one more item you guys and it's nothing very exciting but um i thought i had to pick it up so here it is so i got this little um binder and it's 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 a it's a little book for what looks like should have been for baseball cards or trading cards or some kind of cards and um it can hold quite a bit so I thought I would get it and put my ATC cards in here because they are perfect for storing ATC cards. And I figure if I made any ATC cards ahead of time, I can just stick them in here. Might be fun. And this was only $1.50, so I had to grab that. So that is it for my Thrifty Thursday finds for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I will see you soon. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.